Hello, this is lesson two of data analysis, and this is all about drawing pictographs. So, so last lesson we learned how to read pictographs, um, now we're going to draw them. So let's review the parts of a pictograph that need to be included. So you need to have a title, you need to have vertical axis labels, so that's uh, telling what those things are, we'll get to that. Uh, you need to have symbols, and you also need to have a key to tell us what the symbols uh, represent. Okay, so you often need to make each symbol worth more than one. Because if somebody, for example, from the last lesson, if somebody sold uh, 16 ice cream cones, you wouldn't really want to draw 16 ice cream cones. Maybe you want to draw four ice cream cones and make the ice cream cones worth four. Okay, so part of this is deciding on what the symbols should represent, and it should be logical so that you can draw it easily. You don't want four eighth or four fifths of an ice cream cone. That's kind of hard to draw, and it's hard. To, it's difficult to tell how much that really is. Okay, so you don't want to have more than half of a picture, or whatever. Like you have a full picture or half a picture, but not a different fraction. Okay, uh, but. Usually you make each symbol worth more than one, and it's so that you can keep the size of the pictograph from getting too large. Okay, so we're just gonna jump straight to the practice. There's not much explanation for this. I'll move it up. Okay, so it wants us to draw a picto pictograph based on the data below, be sure to include all required parts. So all those ones from up there. Go, so it says, and it has the title and stuff for us, but it says pizzas made at Pizza Hut, and I just made this up, there's nothing real. But anyways, we've got pizzas here and number here. So we've got cheese, pepperoni, Hawaiian, and all dressed. And then we've got 10, 13, eight, and six. So the first thing that we do is we decide on um, the picture that we'd like to draw. Uh, usually we make it related to whatever it is. So usually you do, like a pizza or something, I will draw a pizza. And I'm just gonna make them all look the same or relatively the same. Okay, so I'm gonna use this and one pizza um, is going to represent, most of these are even numbers, there's only one odd, so I'd only have to draw one half pepperoni if I make them all equal to two. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that we need to do is draw our a uh, graph thing. So we usually start with a rectangle and then we have one, two, three, four kinds. So we can draw four lines, well three lines, but four sections. Okay, now we can put the label. This is the vertical axis label. This is an axis and it is vertical. This would be a horizontal axis. Uh, but we can put kinds of pizza here. And then we need to put in the kinds of pizza. So we've got our cheese, we've got our pepperoni, we've got our Hawaiian, and we've got our all dressed. Okay, usually we draw a line to, to divide so that we can start all our pizzas at the same spot. And we need to remember our title. Oops, made at Pizza Hut. Okay, so cheese has 10. That means that we need to draw five pizzas. So I'll draw five circles. <clears throat> I know cheese doesn't have circles like this, but I want all my pictures to be the same. It's more important to do that. Okay, so pepperoni has 13. So that means that one less than that is 12, so we need to draw six full ones and one half one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's my half. Doesn't really look like a half. Okay, and this is a pictograph, not a blank circle graph. So we will add the decoration in. There, so 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half to get 13 Hawaiian. We've got eight, so we need to draw four because half of eight is four. And four times two equals eight. Okay, and then all dressed is six, so we need three pizzas. And this is my key right here. Okay, so I've got all of the parts. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you don't have all the parts memorized, then make sure you keep this paper open and just reference every time you draw a bar graph, or sorry, not a bar graph, a pictograph. Bar graph is the, bar graph is the next lesson. Uh, just make sure that you have all of the parts. So um, a vertical axis, a label, a title, a symbols, a key, and these. I'm not sure if this is how you spell pepperoni. There might be another P in there. 